Hi, today we will be discussing how SOAP API testing can be performed using Postman. So to do this SOAP API testing, you will be needing a WSDL file, which is an XML file. WSDL stands for Web Services Description Language, which describes the, uh, the web services, what type of method it is, what actions it will perform, and so on. Okay. Either you can add a WSDL file or also you can import the WSDL file. So this is the sample WSDL uh, which I will be using. Okay, it will just do the basic operations of uh, math, maths. Okay, let's import this. Okay, let me copy this URL and then go to Postman. Here I will be importing this WSDL file. Okay, let's click on import. Okay, under import, you have files. If suppose you have uh, the WSDL file available on your machine or the laptop, you can upload that here. or you can click on the link and paste the URL which we have copied. Okay, let's click on continue. It will show you the WSDL file which is imported. Let's click on import. Okay, it imported this WSDL file. When you expand this, okay, you will find different methods which are available in this WSDL file. Okay, so if I click on this add, okay, and I click on the body, okay, it is going to give me the, the complete structure how I need to make use of this endpoint. Okay, this is an XML file. Okay, and uh, Postman auto detected this. Okay, so it's a very simple uh, payload, I would say, uh, where we are doing this uh, addition of two numbers, uh, 100 plus 100, we, we are expecting 200 here. If you click on this, you will get 200. Uh, status code and then the addition of this uh, value which is 200 here if you want to change this let's say we do 300 my expected value is 400 if i click on send you will be getting 400 it's very simple okay and then you can add uh, test to uh, to test this uh, response okay Similarly, you can do the sub subtract here, okay? If I click on body, 100 minus 100 is zero. So my expected value should be zero. If suppose, let's say I do 200, then what I get here, okay? So it's minus 100 because 100 minus 200. Let's say if I do 400 minus 200, uh, 200 then it will be 200. Okay, it's very simple. Okay, so you will be for SOAP API testing, you will be needing WSDL or the structure uh, of the XML, uh, how you need to make the request. Okay, so you need to ask your developer for the WSDL file. Okay, and many of the times when you are testing the legacy apps, okay, usually uh, the APIs are uh, SOAP APIs. Okay, so this is very helpful and Postman has this feature to test this. Thank you.